So this is the login page to the Wireless Automated Quadic Controller. Um, every web page needs a login, obviously. Admin. Whack. So the first page you'll see is a um, device list, basically. Um, these two devices, the sensor and the LED, are manually added in the code for now. Um, eventually you'll be able to add devices just by clicking on the add device button and these sidebars here you can uh, use to change the settings like the time um, and settings on the devices as well for now it's pretty basic um, just showing uh, let's see here is, is a co2 sensor that's using um, I square C. Um, the downside to using I square C for this application is that you have to manually do it in the code. Um, there's no way to do a generic device uh, for um, an I2C because the every device is different in terms of how it collects data, like bitwise. Um, so you have to do it manually. Here's an example in this code. I'm manually adding the CO2 sensor with a CO2 class. You have to manually write. Hopefully I'll write a template that people can just plug in their own code for this. And right now I don't have a interface to add devices yet so I'm manually adding in the code as well the relay. Um, I'm calling it LED and I'm using pin 12 so it shows up in the device list as an LED, pin 12. I can turn on and off an LED by just clicking on this. And turning it off. Um, and if you need to modify it, like when to turn on or what, even what device to look at like for instance let's say this LED is dependent on this uh, CO2 sensor to be at a certain value we could do that in the settings obviously there's nothing there now but um, for instance like that so that's basically it the we're halfway there uh, I need to build the interface and um, I think we'll be good to go.